The U.S. has been abusing our status as the world's largest currency, and yes, we have weaponized it. What was supposed to be a financial device has now become a ransom, and the world isn't liking it. For the first time in history, there's a real threat to the U.S. dollar. A new global currency is going to be created, and it is going to lead some of the most powerful emerging economies. The BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, are meeting this August in South Africa, and one major item on their agenda is the creation of this new currency. Russia's parliament, State Duma Deputy Chairman Alexander Babakov, is pushing it harder than ever. And before you ask, this is not the first time someone has tried to dethrone the dollar. So, what makes this threat real this time? Saudi Arabia. Hi, this is Ivory Hecker for Noble Gold News. The U.S. dollar attained its dominant reserve status in 1944 with the Bretton Woods Agreement, where 44 countries agreed the U.S. dollar would be pegged to gold, and all other countries' currencies would be pegged to the U.S. dollar. The assumption is that we are the country that owns the most gold. In 1971, U.S. President Richard Nixon decoupled the dollar from gold. Saudi Arabia saved us. Saudi Arabia agreed to sell its oil in exchange for the dollars earned, being reinvested into the U.S. Treasury market along with security promises. Every country in the world buys oil, which means every country in the world needs the dollar. Obviously, a lot has changed. Many countries are strengthening their economies. Many other countries have also developed their oil supply. The U.S., on the other hand, has failed to develop our industries and has repeatedly crashed our economy. More importantly, Saudi Arabia now accepts other currencies as payment for its oil, and that is the most critical development. We have also weaponized the U.S. dollar by sanctioning Russia. When Russia was hit by sanctions and excluded from the global SWIFT money transfer system imposed by the West. Russia started trading gold with countries that weren't upholding those sanctions. It was, quite frankly, the only choice they had. Gold is a global currency. Now Russia is calling on other countries to turbocharge their efforts to create a new currency. There's absolutely nothing holding them down now, and it is just a matter of time until countries agree on a system. This will create seamless trade between the world powers, preventing any sanctions from affecting them. The meeting in August. This brings us back to the BRICS meeting in August, where one of the major items on the agenda is the creation of the new currency. Russia's predicament has put their backs against the wall. They need a currency to be able to trade their goods. This has, in turn, given many other countries the opportunity to remove themselves from the hold of the U.S. economy. Even former Goldman Sachs chief economist Jim O'Neill has called for the BRICS bloc to expand and challenge the dominance of the U.S. dollar as a way to combat the destabilizing effects the dollar's dominance has on their monetary policies. O'Neill said, "Quote: Whenever the Federal Reserve Board has embarked on periods of monetary tightening or the opposite, loosening, the consequences on the value of the dollar and the knock-on effects have been dramatic." He said. There are talks that the BRICS currency would be pegged to gold or to commodities. The assumption being that gold is one of the commodities. This would create an immediate spike in interest rates in the U.S. to compensate for the loss of purchasing power. This would call, cause a crash in assets like housing, stocks, and bonds, which have gained value due to the loose Federal Reserve monetary policy. The threats to our economy are becoming stronger. And stronger, and we have no one to blame but ourselves.